Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing 10 tips for beginners of line and wash sketching. The first tip is to try out your pen first. Make sure that you have waterproof ink or water resistant ink so that the ink won't bleed after you apply watercolor on top. Next, decide on the size of the nib as well as the color that you prefer. Try to use a neutral tone like black or brown so that the watercolor process will be easier. The second tip is to vary your line widths. You can achieve this with just one pen by varying your pen pressure or you can use different sized pens. So just by doing this, it can help to make your sketch more mature looking, more lively and full of character and also more interesting. The third tip for beginners is to remember to leave the ink to dry for at least five minutes, but this depends on the weather in your area, in your region, as well as the, pap the type of paper you're using. So if you don't let it dry for enough time, that ink may still bleed when you apply watercolor on top. While waiting for it to dry, take this time to drink some tea, relax, while at the same time start analyzing your sketch and planning what part you want to paint first. Tip number four is to start with a light wash first. Use more water than paint for the first layer and don't go too dark too fast, but you can still add some darker shades of that same color in areas that should be in shadow. But it's always good to be careful. Don't go too dark at the first layer because that will be hard to correct later on. Tip number five is to take note of where the light is coming from at all times. So in this case, when you look at the photo, the left side of that building is brighter than the right side. So you want to try to do the same thing in your own sketch. You don't have to follow the photo exactly, but you want to try to preserve the light on the left side. So the way that I like to do it is I leave some of the brightest areas uncolored and I let the white of the paper shine through. So it's good to not try to fill up all the blanks with paint. Don't go into like coloring page mode. Try to leave areas that you think should be really bright. And um, sometimes I like to exaggerate the lighting a little bit more so that the sketch will um, will look a little more interesting it will be um, more there will be more contrast to that piece Tip number six is, for if you're a beginner, don't try to use too many colors in one sketch. Try to see if you can use the same color, the same paint, in multiple areas of your sketch. So right now in this sketch, you can see that I am using the same green for the rooftops, the tree, the doors, and now I'm adding it also to the windows. This is an easy way to help to pull the painting or sketch together and make it look more harmonious. And after you've added that green to the windows, you can then come in with that blue that I'm using. I think it's a uh, ultramarine and some burnt umber. And I'm just layering on that um, those colors. So now I'm also adding it to other areas. You can see it 
try it is um, slowly and gradually pulling that sketch together. All right, so tip number seven is to use white gouache or white pen or marker for highlights. So these highlights are actually quite important for this sketch in particular because those white railings on those windows are actually quite prominent when you look in, at, at the reference photo. So they are in the main focal point and if you don't if you if you can't preserve those tiny little white areas by painting around those railings it is a good way um, using white gouache or white pen is a good way to bring that um, light bring that bring those highlights back in and it really brings that sketch up a little Tip number eight is to take some time to view your sketch from afar. So now I thought that, okay, it's about done. So I started to sign my name and the date. And now I'm looking at it from afar. I can see things like, oh, is it um, too flat? Is it like there isn't enough color and not enough contrast? So that brings me to tip number nine, which is if it looks flat if it looks like um, something's missing maybe you can add more shadows highlights and color like for this sketch I decided to add a little more orange to that building because I thought it looked a bit too yellow and that's what I tend to do so it's at this stage that I do these little tweaks in the color and Actually, it, uh, it really does help to um, like refine your sketch. And here you're, you can see what I'm doing is I'm trying to pull the color of the building into those areas, gaps in the trees. So it looks more natural because actually um, the building is behind a tree. So it should, that area should have some of the colors of the buildings. And that brings me to the last tip, tip number 10, which is don't overwork it. So loose sketches have energy and spontaneity to them. So have fun and don't stress over too many details. So those are my 10 tips for line and wash sketching. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If you did find it helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. And in my next video, I will be sketching the same subject, but I will be using a different technique. So I will do the watercolor wash first before I do the ink sketch. So we will get to see if the result will be the same or different if we use different techniques. So if you want to watch me do a second sketch of the same subject using a different technique, remember to subscribe. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.